Hi everyone, so I'm going to do another pregnancy vlog today and I think I'm around 8 to 9 weeks gone but again I won't know until my 12 week scan so um, I'm going by my last period so I'm about 8 weeks gone um, so as you can tell I've got a bit of a cold, I've only just got that today um, I don't know why I've got the cold, maybe because of the weather it's been pretty bad in England but um, I'm going to be sniffing throughout this video so sorry Millie. Millie. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to talk about my symptoms and then I'll show you like a few things that I've bought for uh, pregnancy related stuff. So my symptoms have been feeling sick and um, so nausea. Um, I haven't actually got sick yet but um, especially in the morning times I'm feeling a bit sick at work and I don't know if it's due because I'm hungry or if it's you know just general morning sickness but so far it hasn't been like uncontrollable or anything so yeah so I've been feeling sick and um, again always hungry every from the moment I wake up to go to bed I just constantly think about food and I eat at least three meals a day, which you're obviously supposed to do, plus um, a lot of like snacking and stuff. So, yeah, always hungry. Tired is still one of the number one things. Um, I just hope it kind of gets a bit better going into a second trimester because it's just constantly tired and just feeling exhausted. Um, sore boobs. This week, my boobs have been really, really hurting and they feel a bit like fuller. Um, so yeah, that's kind of been a bit painful. And then also yesterday for Good Friday, we went to Paul's Nan's in Whitton. And um, towards the end of the night, I kept feeling a bit dizzy and kind of like my head was spinning and I couldn't hear anything. And I've never kind of felt like that. Um, so I don't know if that was anything to do with the pregnancy or, you know, anything else. But um, it was quite scary. But um, I made sure I ate afterwards. So that is my symptoms. And then I haven't really been buying much. Um, haven't been buying many like baby stuff because again it's so early. But we went to Mother Care and we just got some baby hangers. They're so cute. Um, and these ones are really good because they've got like little hooks here and you can hook them onto each other for like extra space in the wardrobe. So um, I got six baby hangers for 4 99 and I got two packs of them. And then my mum kindly got me, she's like obsessed with buying me books and stuff. Sorry, that's the cats. Um, which is really, really nice of her. So she got me the Complete Baby and Child Care book. And I think this, she got this from Amazon as well as my day-to-day uh, -day pregnancy book. So if I can find this, um, I'll put a link down below. But basically, like, the pregnancy book she got me is brilliant, obviously, for pregnancy. But I wanted one for caring for, like, a newborn baby and stuff like that. So it's got everything from um, bathing and changing your newborn baby to, um, like, tips for new dad and then it's also got like tips for if you're traveling with your like newborn or something so it's a really good book and it cost 17.99 so i love that and then she also got me some magazines and i didn't even know like you could buy baby magazines i think you can get them from like tesco's and wh smith stuff like that um and she might be getting me a subscription on a magazine so you can get it like every month or every week so she got me the mother and baby magazine and they're really good because they give you really good advice they also give you like um like money off for stuff and um, so i really, really like it it's a lot of magazines are f just full of adverts and stuff but this actually is not it kind of gives you like maternity clothes and stuff like that so yeah, I had a good read of that. And then she also got me the Baby London. 
and this one's just adorable it's got kind of like little boutiques in London where you can buy like baby clothes and kind of like higher end um, baby furniture and stuff um, and again this has got money off kind of stuff I saw um, Harley Street Clinic in London which is like a really really good clinic they do um, 4D scans and I think it's gone down to like £99 or something, it's like 60% off so um, there's some really good deals in there so yeah that's Baby London and yeah that's basically it, there's not much different to my other Pranksy vlog um, I can't really like do too much until I know like I've seen the baby or I've heard the heartbeat and everything so I think I'll carry on doing these Pranksy vlogs but after my first scan I think there'll be more to kind of tell you but yeah, I'm going to show you my baby bump now. Okay, so this is my eight week baby bump um, with obviously my jumper on. And this is like a really loose jumper and I've got like a vest top on underneath. But um, I think I'm quite showing quite a lot. I don't know if it's bloating and stuff. But um, this is my bump. And that's it from the front. And then the side. So yeah, I'm really, really showing. Don't know if it's because I'm little or anything, 